Hello and welcome to a new video about my problem with my Siemens logo. I realized I don't have to program. I can directly measure because the contact sticks, so it must be closed now. Now we can find out by simply using a measurement device. Turn on the beep beep beep. See if this is working. Yes. So I can just measure. I can I just measure this one, this output? No. This output? No. This output? Also not. This output? Also not. Uh huh. Why? Maybe I should measure here. I will close, I will close the clamps that we have a good contact. Try. Do I reach? Do I even reach the screws? See if I turn it on. Shouldn't make a difference. <sighs> maybe the contact is now also. Ah, maybe the contact has now you know, unstuck itself because of these vibrations and so on. Then I'll make, let's make a function check. How to program this? How to program this? We have to open this lid here. All right, and here I have this Siemens logo programming cable. Cable, huh? you have to plug it in here. Issue on one side, it has this <laughs> RS232 connector. Huh? So I bought a serial adapter, and now I should have a virtual COM board, and now I should be able to program this. We will see when we switch to the computer. So at the computer I have already prepared those uh, Logosoft software. Uh, and actually what we want to do, we want to program the output. So that one output after the other is switched. This is how the Logosoft software looks like if you start it up. We have first, we have to select the hardware. I think I have already done this. It's here in the tool and select hardware. And here my logo has, if we are looking at that, uh, uh, the number 0PA6 at the end. 0PA6 at the end. So this is the one I am selecting here. 0PA6 standard. Of standard that's okay yeah and 
it's also select hardware, I think. Online settings, I've selected the logo cable. The logo is connected to COM6. This is the virtual COM board. Try to connect. Working. All right. All right. And now, uh, tools. I think that's it. Get the mine logo. 0B8 standard. Okay. Looking good. Let's program this. We do have here, somewhere must be out here, output. Output, it's a function plan programming actually. Output one, output two, output three, output four. These are the outputs. One hint, if you want to move this, you cannot click and move. Yeah? You have to click, wait, move. All right. That's, you are getting used to it. But in the beginning, it's a little bit strange that you have to wait a little bit until you can move. Yeah? Because if you, if you move directly, you get this output parameters. You can comment, you can select the output number. Yeah? So actually what we want to do, we have also here uh, latching relay. So we have we will use here latches. One latch per output. Once the first output is on, yeah, we will use an on delay to turn out the next. to turn out the next output. Yeah. It's just, this is how you program a logo. You just connect row lines. Yeah. So this output, which is connected to that latch, will set that latch, and that latch is connected to the next output. And the next output will reset the previous latch. All right. And this I will do now further. Because then every, here we can adjust, not here, here we can adjust, every, I will use three seconds, every three seconds the next output will be on. So I will use here an on delay, I will use here an on delay, I will use here an on delay, ah, here I have to do a little bit more, we'll discuss this. So this output, on delay, three seconds, turn on this latch, this latch turns on that output, that output will re reset the previous output. This output will set after a delay of three seconds. And here we have already mm, looking not that nice. Huh? So we will click on this line here. And move it a little bit. Now we can see it better. Resetting this. This is preparing the next one. Looking good. However, I have to, and this one is resetting this one. Right. Okay, resetting this one. So we should we have this chain. However, we need some place to start. Yeah. So at the beginning, 
I will just use a status one, a high, yeah? but only in case I need an end now. Huh? Only in case. It's not input output number two active. Here we have to invert this connector yeah? and not input number, output number two. We're also inverting this connector. And not three. So only in case the first one is active or no no one is active. That's actually the one I'm aiming to. If no no output is active, yeah. We can even do that. Not necessary. And and here's an or. So either the previous one or the start condition here, R1. Now it should work. I have over here the three seconds. No, not yet. Now it should work. Now we can simulate this. Yeah? Turn on the simulation. First one is active, because why are here? Second one is active. Third one is active. Fourth one is active. Now the first one is active again. All right, this is working exactly how I imagine it. Huh? So this is the network we are using with those timers and so on and the outputs. Now you have seen how a logo program looks like. And now we just have to bring this to the logo. We see the logo here. Press the button. Okay, okay. Should connect. Yes. Connecting. Uh -huh. We are in transfer mode. If the program, okay, it is already transferred. This was quick, of course. Yeah, it's not a big program. This was quick. So I'm going to start this. And it does. It does. It clickety clucks. Clickety clucks. Now let's check if those outputs are working or not. Turn on the beep eye. The beep eye. <laughs> Turn on the beep. Beep is ready. Huh? First one. Good. Three. Yes. Good. Two. Now should be the first one. Yes, two is also working. And now four. Yes, four is also working. So it seems like this loose contact or this, this sticky contact is now loose again. Probably because of I moved it. Yeah, there was a vibration and I hit the surface of the table and so on. And I pulled it apart. At my yeah, it's working. Now I'm currently thinking if I should live with this relays in there now and just use an intermediate solution or if I should replace them anywhere. Since I'm not sure what I'm going to damage when I'm going to solder here at these things, I will live with that and give it a try. I can destroy it afterwards as well. <laughs> so, Actually, next time we are going to program, I'm going to tell you what I want to have. Okay? I'm going to tell you what I want to have, and then we are going to program this. For this time, 
Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.